Oh, it was it was unreal. I've been a child of sports of Harlequins my whole life. Um, growing up with Marcus and Caden, um, and seeing how well they've been doing recently. So it's nice that I can I can say I made my debut and I've I played alongside my, my my good mates. Yeah, they just said bring energy um, and can I do my uh, my fundamentals well? Hit the line out, um, try scrum well because scrums under pressure, um, and basically just energy and defence, making sure that we protect the line, which. Um, obviously, it didn't go our way, but I thought we we, we put a good, some good effort out there. Um, it's just a shame that it, we end up losing it towards the end. Yeah, it was, it was obviously strange because obviously there's no fans in the stadium at the moment. Um, so I think almost for me that it helped me because it didn't feel like such a big occasion. I just went out, played my game. Um, but yeah, the physicality, the tempo, it's, it's different to anything I've experienced before. But um, hopefully the body will get used to it and I can continue to push forward. We went out, started the warm-up and um, Scott Ball went asked to do a few tackles on the shoulder to make sure it was all good. Um, we did a couple and, and, and he wasn't he wasn't able to play. Um, but I, I learned my stuff all, throughout the week. Um, I was prepared. So for me, it wasn't too much of a shock and it almost helped me relax a bit more because I wasn't stressing and worrying too much before the game. So I went out and just played my game. I was, they didn't know I was playing, um, so I kind of, I didn't have time to text them before the warm-up or anything, so um, they were pretty shocked. I, went, I got back to a few texts saying, why well, you let me know, all this kind of stuff, but um, no, they were chuffed because they're season ticket holders here, support the club for years. Um, so like, it was a massive occasion for me, but a massive occasion for my family as well. I think I, think I made them proud. Yeah, so I joined when I was 15, um, played 15, 16, 17, 18, won the 18s league. Um, my first year was a loose head. Um, and then Gazi came in and spoke to me and said, look, I think physically and your game would be better suited to hooker. Um, so I took it on board. I worked on my throwing and I've, I've been there now for, for over just over two years, but being out kind of eight months of my ankle and COVID hitting, um, it still feels quite like a new position, but the more I play, the more I'm like learning and, and I'm enjoying playing there. Oh, unbelievable. You mean you've got two, well, you've got Adam Jones, the Lion, and you've got Jerry, who's a who's an international multiple cap. So for scrum wise, great to have Bomb there, talks me through everything. Um, Cause it's a big step up playing kind of A-League and age group to being a premiership scrum. Um, so we spoke a lot about the scrums and how I can benefit in there. And then Jerry obviously throwing. We, I work from the time I throw in. Um, the two fundamentals of a, of a hooker is a scrum and throw. So I've got the two, two best coaches helping me out there. Unbelievable. It's a shame we couldn't get the win from his last game with but. For me, I can now, I can not only say I played in a Premiership game, I remember David Harlequins, but I played with Chris Robshaw, um, who's a club and England legend. Um, so for me, yeah, it's, it was unbelievable.